On the morning after, as floral tributes were brought to the scene, Shanghai's New Year disaster has left a country in shock and facing difficult questions. State media is calling it a wake-up call. Taken just 20 minutes or so before midnight, these photos show the police struggling against the sheer weight of the crowd, unable to rescue or treat those caught in the deadly crush. The authorities appear to have been caught off guard, despite the fact that this year's celebrations, because of public safety concerns, had already been scaled back to keep crowds to a minimum. At hospitals across the city, relatives of the dead and injured faced a distressing wait for news. Now I just want to know what's going on inside the hospital. Many relatives had asked to go inside and ask the hospital to give us a list of the injured, including the conscious and unconscious ones, but nobody got back to us. With people out enjoying the first day of the new year, there is little sign of last night's chaos today. The historic waterfront area in one of China's showcase cities has been cleared away with brisk efficiency. But that it happened here at all will cause deep concern. And the Chinese president himself, Xi Jinping, has called for a speedy inquiry and for lessons to be learned. One possible explanation for the stampede is that it was triggered by someone throwing fake money from a nightclub window. But whatever the cause, it has turned Shanghai's night of New Year celebration into a deep personal tragedy for so many. John Sudworth, BBC News, Shanghai.